righty, I have a construction update for you guys today. This one's a little small, but I'm going to start a new segment where I respond to comments in a previous video in every construction update to answer some of your questions in detail. So in today's update, they sent in a tinier excavator to remove the remainder of the old tunnel. So it's going in and removing what's left. Um, over at Thunder Run's exit, they have the exit platform being constructed. And if you look closely, you can see where it exits now too. So that's really cool. Over at the in quotation speculated maintenance tunnel, um, they've put down rebar cages in a very big ramp style formation. This leads me to believe that it's going to be a maintenance entrance to the tunnel to replace the original one. And if you look really closely, you can actually see two footings. Um, where I think a gate would go. Um, but again, that is pure speculation. Um, over at main, uh, maintenance tunnel number one, um, definitely showing signs that this is going to be for a launch section to the ride. Now, again, that is pure speculation as well, but all signs point to that. Um, over at Extreme Skyflyer's um, potential station location or a major element, um, not, no work has happened. Again, there was a snowstorm, so it kind of slowed things down a bit. That's why in today's update, you're not seeing much action. But I will tell you, this was filmed on Saturday. And with them working on maintenance tunnel number one, that means they're in a hurry to get something done. Um, obviously, not much going on at Moosehorn Falls, just prepping the rebar cages out in the parking lot. Again, on a Saturday, so they're in a rush to get that done as well. Um, ride training has started this week. So today, it is Nightmares, Clockworks, um, Thunder Run. Uh, is supposed to be running. I did not get it. Um, Sledgehammer is running. There's footage in today's update about that. And it is early. A lot of gondolas are look broken. Keywords look broken. Um, but that could easily be fixed. Um, outside of that, no action in tunnel number three. I have a theory about tunnel number three, but this is pure speculation. Um, I think they're just using that temporarily to get things in the mountain. I do think it is going to be used for the ride just because of what they removed. And maintenance tunnel number two is nearing completion. So they could have just used that to get anything in the mountain. I can promise you guys there is no action inside that mountain yet. Um, but yeah, here's a shot of Sledgehammer running. If you look closely, a lot of the gondolas are broken. Um, I apologize for some of my clips, if you've noticed. Um, I'm playing around with this new drone. I don't know how to fully use it yet. I'm still learning the settings. It's a lot more um, enhanced than my previous drone. So um, some of the trees, if you look, I, I didn't quite know the features to use. They look kind of cartoonish. Um, so just wanted to apologize for that. This clip looks beautiful, but some of my other clips, um, definitely the lighting, I need to learn how to play around with a more manual drone. Um, but with that being said, uh, it's time to answer some of your questions. So um, my first question came from Ben. It's not uncommon for concrete pads to be put down as a base for brickwork slash paving stones to be placed on top. It's obviously expensive AF, so it is only done in areas where shifting ground make making the walkway uneven is um, common. Um, so yes, that is a possibility, but I want to talk about why I believe this is a maintenance tunnel. So the concrete work for this tunnel is done. The forms were removed. I can promise you guys, from what I know through the little birdie mill, that that concrete work only continues into the entrance of the tunnel, the flat paved section of the mountain. As soon as it connects to that flat paved section of the mountain, no more work continues. It is simply just an entrance to the flat, really vast open space in that mountain. To me, that suggests it is just to get trucks in and out of the mountain like the original tunnel was doing. So with that information, I strongly believe with pure speculation that that tunnel is going to be just a maintenance tunnel, but maybe it's for future use as well. I just don't see why they would start so soon if it had no relation to the ride, which we start we are starting to believe. And the maintenance tunnel number one may be being used for the ride. I can 100% see that tunnel just as a replacement tunnel for the maintenance area. Question number two. Do you think they will build a bridge over tunnel number one, or is it tall enough to, to close it back off again and be a dark tunnel? Um, so yes, uh, I believe maintenance tunnel number one can have a roof over top of it. Um, I don't think it's going to be a bridge. I think it's just going to be exactly how it was before. Um, and they needed to uh, upgrade the tunnel, obviously, as it's going to house a potential launch. And um, they need to pour footings in that tunnel and keywords install track so um just revealed a huge thing to you guys right there 
So I guess, you know what? You know what? I'm going to break it. I've been holding on to this. Um, so it has been tipped off to us by a little birdie that footings for the coaster are going to be installed in that tunnel very shortly. And track is going to be needed to be installed. And that's why we're going to know what manufacturer this is. If Wonderland isn't too sneaky and the track doesn't come wrapped and installed wrapped, um, that's how we're going to know what the coaster is ahead of time. Because they need to close off that tunnel, and the only way to get footings and track in there before they close it off is to do it before they close it off. So, there. <laughs> that's how uh, you know, we know, um, that when they do install track, that's how we're going to know the manufacturer. So, just gave you guys the biggest piece of information um, about how we're going to find that out very shortly. Um, I learned that from a birdie out there. So, yeah, really excited about that. And the third question is, so is the first tunnel now wide enough for a wing coaster from Julian? So um, this is the tricky question. So our measurements have all been done on Google Earth. So we don't know if it has 100% accuracy um, when measuring. Based off of Google Earth, it is not wide enough for a wing coaster train. However, those measurements could be swayed like because of Google Earth. Um, and they could be incorrect, and it could be wide enough for a wing coaster. I am speculating a Zamperla launch coaster to go into that um, area um, based off of my measurements with Google Earth and all that, but if our measurements are wrong on Google Earth and that tunnel is wide enough for a wing coaster train, I can 100% see Wonderland still moving forward with the wing coaster model. Um, but if it's not wide enough, then I strongly believe it is the Zamperla launch coaster model. Um, so one of those two models is coming to Canada's Wonderland. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, it's really tricky. I've heard no action over at the B&M facility, and we have no one covering the Zamperla facility. So it is swaying me to believe that this is going to be a Zamperla launch because we would have seen track at B uh, Clearmount Steel Factory by now. All righty. Thanks for those three awesome questions. Um, keep them coming. I'm going to respond to three to five questions a video now. So if you have a really good question, I'm not going to answer dumb questions. I'm not going to answer questions that I don't know either. If you're asking me what color the ride's going to be and stuff like that, I'm not going to answer those. I don't know them. Um, I am going to answer questions that I think that a lot of people would like to know the answer to or even a question that might create more confusion, I'll read out loud as well. So I wanna be as transparent in these updates as possible. So comment down below your question, I'll answer them in the next video. And thanks so much for watching these updates. Have a good one guys, bye.